Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Prince Automation Destination. So in our previous lectures of BDD Cucumber series, we discussed about hooks and tagged hooks. We discussed about their uses and how we can move some common line of code to before hook and after hook. Right. Later we discussed about tag books concept wherein we discussed about how to execute some common step for a particular type of test case. For example, smoke can have a different uh, type, of, type of environment uh, meaning different URL and sanity can have different URL. So using tag books we can achieve it. So in case you don't uh, have already visited my previous videos, I'll request you to please go back to my previous videos to understand the concept of hooks as well as tag books. I'll be sharing the same in the description section. Today we are going to discuss about another important topic that is background keyword, right? So we will try to understand how exactly we can use background keyword and what is the need of background keyword and how it is different from the background before keyword, before annotation again, right? So without further delay, let me jump onto the code side. So if you observe, this is one test case wherein what we are doing, we are trying to log in to the, into the application. Then after we are entering username and password, then we are clicking on login and we are verifying the product. So in this test case also what we are doing, we are launching the application and then what we are doing, we are logging in and we are verifying source labs backpack. And this part we have already made it as part of tag books in the previous session. So if you observe what we are doing in this case, the control will first go to this before block, this before annotation, because this will execute before each scenario. What we are doing, we are initializing the Chrome driver. Then after we are creating the driver instance of Chrome driver and we are launching the source demo. So what will happen in this case, the control that, that particular step will execute first and it will launch the source demo. Then after what we are doing, we are entering username and password we are clicking on login we are verifying the product so in this test case also we are doing the same thing only difference is here in this case we are verifying soft source labs backpack on the same dashboard so if you observe this particular two steps are common across both the test cases so what we can do to make it at one place so there is a concept of background keyword in cucumber so back, what background will do uh, so let me explain it first what I'm going to do. I'm simply going to cut it and paste it and I'm going to remove from here as well because they are no more required. So what background does is background serves like a common step for each test case means when this particular test case will execute prior to that this particular two steps will be executed. Similarly when this particular test case will execute this particular two steps will be executed. Now comes what is the difference with background and before. Before will be executed even before the background keyword. Why? Before is something which is common across all the scenarios. So for example, if scenario belong to this particular feature file or this particular feature file, we need to launch the URL and we need to launch this particular site. So that is a common step for all the scenarios. But in this case, these are the two steps which are common for this particular feature file. So when we want to achieve reusability or we want to segregate some common steps within the feature file, then we use background keyword. And when we want to achieve a common step across all the scenarios, then we use before block, right? So this is the difference of background and before. And before will execute even before the background because background are ultimately part of scenario only, right? So now we, I'm going to run the test case. So what will happen? The control will first come here. And then after the control will come to this particular step and then control will come here and at last the control will come here likewise uh, the control will for the next test case the control will come here and then come on line number eight and at last come on 20. so what i'm going to do i'm going to simply copy this at the red com i'm going to ui customer i have already copied or i can simply replace it also now what i'm going to do i'm going to run it so in this case you will observe the test case will execute with all three steps so we see validate products on the dashboard. So this particular test case got executed. Then validate source lab. Simply again, it is logging in and doing the same steps. So in this case, if you observe, we have moved these steps to this particular uh, background section. Even then this scenario is able to use these steps. So this is the purpose of background keyword to provide some common steps for a feature file. So it can be different for each feature file. So background is something which is common for the feature file 
and before is something which is common common across all the scenarios so thank you for watching uh, in case you like my video i would uh, request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again